If only security had done their jobs that night, Samoa Joe never would have made it past the arena's metal detector. Sorry, just trying to keep it positive. Which is hard to do because our story wouldn't be complete without talking about one giant negative. I'm referring, of course, to the arrival of the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun in WWE. Because of Brooklyn, our lives and careers would never be the same. Although if you think about it, they were pretty much the same as they'd always been because no matter where we went or what we accomplished, we could never escape Brooklyn's loud, obnoxious shadow. We gave Brooklyn a lot of chances to prove she had changed. Well, mostly Trey did. But ultimately, she only proved one thing. She was the exact same bully she was way back when we were in high school. And she wasn't just a jerk to us. She disrespected anyone she dealt with, including WWE legends. Is that all you got? It feels like you're taking a teacup poodle for a walk on my back. Excuse me, Miss Von Braun, can we talk? Can't you see I'm conducting important GM business? Come on, I really need you to get in there. Work it. It will only take a minute. What? I don't want my car washed or candy from your stupid kids fundraiser or whatever crap you're selling. Actually, I'm the original American hero, Kurt Angle. You know, the Hall of Famer you borrowed your nickname from without asking? Come back in five with stronger hands. So what do you want? An autograph from the real American hero? A picture? Tell me what I need to do to make you go away. I need you to drop the lawsuit against me. If you don't, it will bankrupt my family. No chance. I'm the way more famous American hero, and I will not allow you to continue profiting off my celebrity. I won a gold medal for my country with a broken freaking neck. What have you ever done that makes you an American hero? Uh, filed a trademark? Security! Wait, maybe we can settle this without lawyers. If there's anything that could change your mind, I'd do it. Anything? It just so happens we have a superstar who was gone for a very long time and needs to knock off some ring rust. So I'll drop the lawsuit if you can beat Samoa Joe. But Joe's a monster. He's got that bionic arm that could tear me apart, and I haven't competed in years. Samoa Joe hasn't competed in years either, so it should be a competitive match. Good luck. The Hall of Famer, Kurt Angle. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Angle. He's back. The Olympic gold medalist. The multi-time world champion. He's an Olympic gold medalist, and he's a Hall of Famer!
the most dangerous man in WWE today. And his opponent from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. A true menace that has taken his reign of terror across the independent scene, through Mexico, through Japan, all over the globe, before coming to WWE and wreaking havoc on anyone and everyone. And that havoc includes being a two-time NXT champion, even beating a legend like Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania in under a minute. This is a match I never expected to see tonight. Kurt Angle has been retired for years. Brooklyn Von Braun's legal case against Angle has clearly caused him distress so much that he's willing to risk his well-being to get Brooklyn to drop the lawsuit altogether. But Kurt Angle should have just stopped using the American Hero nickname when he had the chance and none of this would be happening. Instead, he let his pride get in the way of rational thinking. Now he's in for a world of physical and financial suffering. And no luck against Joe there. Uh-uh. Kurt Angle exploiting the opening. Close line. Oh, that'll leave a mark. And again, yet another counter. And now that one's countered. Nice amateur takedown. Samoa Joe looking a little startled right now. He planned for this and could still rally. Race lock applied. Kurt Angle showing why he's a wrestling machine Olympic gold medalist. Success breeds success, and he's definitely having some right now. There's a setup for the backbreaker. Producing a trampling. Great body control. Guys, I noticed the demeanor on Samoa Joe's face never changes. That angle slam attempt. Joe counters. It's all over. It's Trey. He has no business being out here. Kurt Angle from behind. He got him. Kurt Angle has defeated Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is livid. I imagine Brooklyn Von Braun isn't going to be too pleased either. Too bad. All that matters is Kurt Angle has got the win. And now he can officially be known again as the American hero. Since you like getting involved in my business so much, maybe you should pay all the legal bills for the lawsuit I have to drop now. Yeah? Well, you messed with us in the Best of Five series, and that cost Red her title. So I'd say we're even now. Is that what you think happened? I signed Samoa Joe because he was unfairly let go from WWE, not to mention he's a great addition to the roster. But I had nothing to do with him costing you the series. I don't control him. No one can. Which is something you should be very worried about. So if you're not out to get us... Then prove it. Give me a rematch for my championship that I lost without ever being pinned. Let me think about that. No. That's what I thought. But what I will do is give the audience something new and fresh. Trey, 
you're going to face Adam Cole next week for his WWE Championship in a no disqualification match. See? Maybe I'm not so bad after all. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go find someone else I can sue to recoup my losses. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. It's a big-time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael, and judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. The leader of Undisputed Era. I gotta know, can either of you think of a more self-absorbed, cocky superstar in this entire company than Adam Cole? Self-absorbed? What are you going on about, Saxon? Adam Cole is the leader of the Undisputed Era. He is the definition of a team player. Take one look at Adam Cole. Try to imagine one day in his shoes and Tell me you wouldn't be cocky, too. Oh, good heavens. Are you finished yet? I can go on all night about Adam Cole Saxton. Don't test me. Introducing the challenger from Greensboro, North Carolina, weighing in at 259 pounds, Mr. Wilson. And introducing the champion from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, he is the WWE Heavyweight Champion, Adam Cole. The big gold belt up for grabs here tonight. This is a huge opportunity tonight for Trey as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Adam Cole for the WWE Championship in a no disqualification match. Honestly, I'm surprised Brooklyn put Trey in this position, especially after he got involved in the Kurt Angle Samoa Joe match last week. Everyone thinks they know Brooklyn and her intentions, but she said it herself. 
She's made an entire career out of defying expectations. It's what led her to success in mixed martial arts, and I predict it will also benefit her greatly in WWE. Inverted DDT! Lights out! One of the most talked about events in NXT history was when Adam Cole and his Undisputed Era teammates shocked the sports entertainment world and appeared at the third annual NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Had it scouted. When we talk about Adam Cole's appearance at the third NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, Byron, we should point out it was more of an invasion. By the way, the NXT Universe at the Barclays Center responded. They knew NXT would never be the same. Oh, give me a break. You two are so melodramatic. Adam Cole simply picked the best time to let the NXT Universe know that things were going to change. Personally, I commend it. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars are going to give everything they can to win here tonight. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. That scissor a plot. Oh, man, vicious elbows. His offense. The champion into the cover. Looking to steal it there, perhaps. That would have been a shocker. Uh-oh, look at this! Boom. What a suplex! Got the head scissors up by him. Oh, man, that's just nasty! Raining down elbows. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Oh, wow. Barrage. Down with a power bomb. What a slam! Impactful. Will jar your spine. This is raw power here. Red suplex coming. There's more to come. Another. This superstar is still not done. Well, it's time for the WWE. Trey has Adam Cole in trouble. Hold on, what is Samoa Joe doing out here? Whoa, what the heck? That makes no sense whatsoever. What are you doing? Cover him. I'm not gonna win like that. Fine. No. And now Samoa Joe with the attack on Trey. It seems Samoa Joe wants Trey to win the match, and he's going to do anything he can to make it happen. Count it now. I'm not sure why Samoa Joe did what he did, but as a result, Trey is your new WWE Champion. I really have no explanation for this either. As far as we know, Samoa Joe has nothing but contempt for Trey. So why would he help him win the WWE Championship? Hopefully we'll get some answers soon.
damn it! I wanted to earn this. Now everyone's gonna look at me like I'm some kind of fluke champion. Again. I know you're frustrated, but maybe it's not that bad. Besides, if you defend it enough, then people will respect you. Seven years. Seven years ago, you took what was mine, and I never got to take it back. You know, a lot of significant life events can happen in that amount of time. Birthdays, holidays, funerals, and I miss them all. Because for over 2,500 days, one thing has consumed me. Revenge. I even augmented my body to ensure that when the time came, there would be nothing that stopped me from destroying you. So now, we're so close. I helped you win this championship for one reason only. So I can finally take back what you took from me. But that doesn't even make sense. It's not the same title. Don't! Don't say that. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Seven years, and the surgery, and the pain, and I am going to take it back. Hey, you want to tell me what that was all about? I had nothing to do with it. You think I wanted to win the title like that? I don't think you give a damn as long as you're champion. I want my rematch. I promise I'll make this right. Okay, chump. Okay, Trey, how about we do that right now? No, Trey, Trey, let's go. From the outside, my life looked pretty good. I was WWE Champion, and I was about to team with none other than Ronda Rousey in the Mixed Match Challenge. The truth is, I couldn't enjoy any of that. I had a maniac breathing down my neck who'd spent seven years planning my demise. But at least my title defense against Adam Cole would take place in a steel cage, so that psychopath couldn't interfere. Or so I thought. The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the WWE Championship. It's a big fight feel here tonight as the title is on the line. And title matches like this have a way of getting your blood flowing unlike any other match. As far as title defenses go, this is about as big as it gets. Am I right, Byron? 100%, Michael. The opposition comes into this match practically frothing at the mouth, which means the champ better be on his game here tonight.
Looks like things just got a little more undisputed. gentlemen continue to preach the greatness of the undisputed era and Adam Cole from a journey around the world to bursting on the scene at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3 Adam Cole is finally on the big stage where he's wanted to be all along the mission statement has been very simple shock the system Any relation? Greatness runs in packs, Byron. Like the three of us. <laughs> Introducing the challenger from Panama City, Florida. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Adam Cole! And introducing the champion from Greensboro, North Carolina, weighing in at 259 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Mr. Wilson! The big gold belt up for grabs here tonight. Newly crowned champion defends their title for the first time in a steel cage. But that's exactly the situation Trey finds himself in tonight against Adam Cole. Usually the purpose of a steel cage is to keep two opponents inside, but in this case, I think the intention is to keep Samoa Joe on the outside if he can get involved. Honestly, after everything we've seen from Samoa Joe since he returned, I'm not sure this steel cage is enough to keep him at bay. He's been quickly taking control here. Tapped into an energy source and he's going strong. Oh, Just caught flush. The challenger's looking shaken. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Straight punch. And a suplex. Cover for the championship. One, Plenty of fight left. Up. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. Whoa. Adam Cole reverses, sending Trey straight into the steel cage. Trey looks like he's in severe pain. And right on cue, just as Adam Cole seems to have this match won, here comes Samoa Joe to try to stop him. Joe slams the cage door on Adam Cole. Joe is dead set on keeping the WWE Championship on Trey so he can take it from him after not getting his rematch seven years ago. Trey with a drop kick into the cage, sending Samoa Joe crashing to the floor. Trey isn't going to sit back and let Joe help him. Well, it's admirable, I guess, but I think he should take the help. It appears Red is out here to help get rid of Samoa Joe so Trey can show he can do this by himself. Don't feed into his ego, Red. If you were a real friend, you'd let him have any help he could get. Trey is equally determined to prove he's not a fluke champion. He wants to win this match on his own. Trap the arm. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Boom! Boom! <laughs> Boom! What a forearm! Great evasion. High angle belly to back suplex. Really just laying it in. Saw what he had in mind there. Oh, wow, what a sequence there from Adam Cole. So resourceful. 
Oh, look out! Ouch. What a super kick from Adam Cole! Proving tough to catch. Back suplex! Ooh. Very nice. Oh, look at this incredible power. Gut wrench suplex combination. Not done yet. Another? Man, you're observant, Byron. Best analyst in the game. How about one more? A bad place to be for the challenger. A change of strategy has to be his next move. Suplex. Oh. Here it comes. Senton. He's just dominating at this point. He's always had great stamina. See if it lasts here. Scoop slam. And now he's made it all the way to the top of this steel cage. Strategy is working. Almost over. Boom, what impact! Cover for the championship! Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Not even close. And it's reversed. Paying for that mistake. Uh-oh. Shot to the back. Rolling cutter. Looks like the champ is going to retake. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Two, three. Retains the title. Here is your winner. And still, the WWE Champion, Mr. Wilson. You heard the ring announcer. This one's over. And here's your winner. Man, this champion has a stranglehold on that title and doesn't appear to be letting up anytime soon. That's a title match you're going to be talking about for ages, ladies and gentlemen. Great job defending your title against Adam Cole. Thanks. More importantly, I showed everyone I didn't need Samoa Joe's help to do it. You have anything left in the tank for your mixed match challenge later? Honestly, I'm running on fumes, so I'm kind of hoping Ronda carries our team tonight. Hmm. By the way, do you even have a partner yet? No. Brooklyn's making me wait until the last minute to find out who it is. Typical. Well, whoever it is, we might have to face each other at some point, which is going to be weird. I know, but FYI, I just put win mixed match challenge on the list, and I plan on being the one who crosses it off. We'll see. I hope you're feeling all right after that steel cage match. Look, if you're worried about our match later, I'll be fine. Turns out I actually perform better with possibly cracked ribs. Just remember, the winning Mixed Match Challenge team gets $500,000 to donate to whatever charity they want. I don't want to miss out on that because you've got your hands full with other things. My hands aren't full at all. Look, completely empty. I even had time to think of an awesome team name. Team Rowdy Trey. You clearly just thought of that, so I think that proves my point about you being distracted. No, that took weeks of brainstorming. I swear, I even had a think tank put their heads together on it. Whatever, just make sure you bring your A-game later. The Mixed Match Challenge starts tonight and everyone else knows who they're teaming with. So when are you going to tell me who my partner is on my way to the ring? Oh, did I forget to assign you a partner? Must have slipped my mind. Yeah, I'm sure. 
To make it up to you, I'll let you choose your teammate. Great. I choose Seth Rollins. You didn't let me finish. I'll let you choose from a group of superstars that I've selected. Is Seth Rollins one of them? No. Your choices are Kurt Hawkins, who's now lost over 1,000 consecutive matches, your old trainer, Riley Flash, who I have no doubt is in tremendous ring shape, especially after just flying in from Calgary on six connections. It was the cheapest fare I could get last minute. And finally, Drew McIntyre. You might remember he recently helped Becky Lynch acquire your SmackDown Live Women's Championship, so I'm sure you two would work really well together. I know it must be hard to pick from those three amazing options, but I need an answer now. See, when you're willing to put your gas station toilet seat of an attitude aside, we can work together after all! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Raleigh, North Carolina, Princess Babyface. Here we go. This is the match a lot of these people came to see tonight. And with good reason, Michael, this one's been brewing for quite some time. And I'd say these women definitely look ready to get this one started. So am I, Michael. I don't think I've ever seen these women give a poor performance. And I'm willing to bet tonight will be no different. just hungry. Uh, it's proven in his actions and Drew McIntyre has made it his mantra to eradicate complacency from WWE by any means necessary. Carmella, unbelievable career thus far in WWE. 
and the sky's the limit for this young lady. What are you guys, both on the bandwagon or something? I started the bandwagon. Byron, you shouldn't even be in the same arena as this man. Why not? And weighing in at 231 pounds, EC3. Talk about an incredible story. A superstar who left WWE years ago, reinvented himself, got himself in the best shape of his life, and now he is back in, in his words, in the top 1%. Are you doubting him? I'm just repeating what he says. Cole, you gotta realize Byron spent most of his life in the bottom 99. That's not true. Tremendous athlete, EC3, set to do battle here tonight. As the Mixed Match Challenge kicks off, most teams have had weeks to prepare. However, due to Brooklyn Von Braun dragging her feet, Red's team formed just minutes ago. This has to be a major disadvantage. I agree, not to mention, they didn't even have time to come up with a cool team name. That should be the least of their concerns, Saxton. The bigger issue is Red and Drew McIntyre trying to coexist after their recent history in the Best of Five series. Drew won the final match to help Becky Lynch capture the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. There is no way Red's gotten over that. That will get your attention. Carmella with a nice reversal. Kick to the gut. Reverses, can she take advantage? Powerbomb planted. Gals, Carmella may be in a bad way here. Big time slam. Vicious. Ooh, bullseye. Bomb planet. Now ah, trampling the opposition. She's bringing the pressure on now. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. Slam down hard. Carmella just barely got out of the way. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Power bomb! Using the elbow as a weapon. Ouch. Overhead suplex.
Look at this raw power. Sit out, power bomb. Carmella just barely got out of the way. Sit out, power bomb. Incredible impact. She's got something in mind. Up and she's going after her midsection again. And can you blame her? It practically has a target on it at this point. She's got the shoulders down. One, two, three. That puts this mixed tag match in the books. In time. Nice win. Got to be happy with that performance. That may have been one of the most dominant performances I've seen in a very long time. What a matchup that was. Truly incredible. <laughs>
Velveteen Dream just soaking in every ounce of the moment. Everything about this guy is money. What a superstar. What an entrance. It's, it's mesmerizing. It's intoxicating. What is he doing? Anything he wants. He's the dream. You just don't appreciate greatness, Byron. I'm ready. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair is a superstar who impresses me whenever she steps into the ring. She's improving every time she steps into that ring. I can sense a yeah, but coming Saxton, so just spit it out. Well, but I wish she didn't rely on underhanded tactics and shortcuts to guarantee wins. She's so talented, so athletic, so strong. She should rely on her skills to win. Bianca Belair uses her head in the ring. If that means using her braid for leverage, then so be it. It's not her fault her opponents have less impressive hair. And, Corey, we should point out just how focused she appears to be here tonight. That's one of the things I like best about her, Cole. No matter who she's in the ring with, she's always laser-focused on the task at hand. Been a busy night for Trey as earlier. He defended his WWE Championship in a steel cage match on SmackDown Live. You have to admire his commitment to teaming with Ronda Rousey, but there is no way he's 100% going into this match. A smart champion would be resting up for their next title defense. Not out here competing in the mixed match challenge, but he can't get enough of the spotlight, and as a result, he's putting himself and his partner at risk. Oh, he knew that was coming. He evades the attack. That is a great reversal. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Standing sheer noy. Ah, oh, foot just stomping down. This is raw power here. Red suplex coming. There's more to come. Another. The superstar is still not done. He has become relentless at this point. Yeah, he's digging deep and showing great energy. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Look at it catch him off guard. Plenty of fight left. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. He's in big trouble. Pow! What a shot. Powerball! Dream just barely got out of the way. Single leg drop kick caught him. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. He might have been waiting on that one. Wow, what a sequence. Caught off guard. Sometimes you'll see a smile on Ronda Rousey's face, but that changes once she goes into combat mode, Corey. <laughs> Call the cops when Ronda's on the loose. She'll tell you she's not a wrestler or a fighter. Ronda's a martial artist. Her judo training means she puts out maximum efficiency with minimum effort. There's a philosophy, purpose, and direction in everything she does. German suplex! Byron, Corey described... Velveteen Dream is down, and it appears Trey and Ronda Rousey are going to attempt some kind of top rope double team maneuver.
Ronda launches Trey into a somersault senton splash. Yeah, it looked like Ronda might have tweaked something. Maybe her ankle? And Trey gets the win for his team. I think you're right, Saxton. Ronda Rousey is definitely in pain. You okay? No, I can't put weight on it. Ugh, I'm sorry. It's my fault. This appears to be a very costly victory for Team Rowdy Trey. This is on our WWE Champion. He was banged up from the cage match, and that caused the timing to be off when Ronda launched him into that senton splash. So now they're both hurt. I hope it was worth it for Trey. Well, you really blew it this time. Thanks to your screw up last week, the doctor just said that Rhonda has to pull out of the mixed match challenge. Damn it. But I've got some good news. I already found you a new partner. Let me guess. You found someone who hasn't competed in WWE in 30 years. Actually, I found someone who's never competed in WWE at all. Me! I'm stepping down as GM to become an active WWE superstar. What? I've been thinking about making the move to in-ring competitor for a while now, and this seemed like the perfect opportunity, especially with a chance to win money for charity. I just love giving back to the community whenever I can. Anyway, let me know if you want to talk strategy before our match tonight. Oh, and one more thing. I tied up some loose ends before I stepped down as GM. You're going to defend your WWE Championship against Samoa Joe on the special 1500th episode of SmackDown Live in a submission match. Later, partner.